Uh, before we begin with the engine assembling, uh, the gearbox assembling, there is one interesting thing that you should know. And this here is a drum. Uh, it is a gear sh shift drums. And at the end of this axle is this uh, plastic part and also a small pin. It is a brass pin. The second part is this plastic uh, bolt and also have this small brass pin. So once when everything installed inside of the housing at one position these two parts will meet. So when you are shifting gears this brass pin is going to slide on this plastic part so you will have no connection but once when you put a gearbox into the neutral position at that point this brass pin and this brass pin will connect. At that point uh, the light bubble on a speedometer will turn on and that will indicate you that you are that the engine is in neutral position. Now this engine that I am rebuilding did not have this part and also someone removed this part. So this part of the gearbox is from another engine and also this part here.
so this is the original pyramid from the gearbox now the main problem with this pyramid is that the axle is heavily corrosive here 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 uh, <coughs> so on this part here the bearing is rolling so this need to be in very good condition because this part here is part of the bearing itself so here I have a second pyramid from another gearbox this part here is in excellent condition but the main problem here is that this gear is damaged so there are two tooth that are heavily damaged so I need to use I will need to use this and this axle to get the best parts from both of those uh, two gearbox Uh, usually uh, gear shift mechanism have some sort of the marks like uh, they have uh, some sort of the dot or something like that and uh, on one part and also on the second part so you can synchronize those parts so once when you installed gear shifting mechanism you know that this uh, it is uh, lined up but this gearbox does not have that any of uh, marks so I believe that it doesn't matter uh, matter how you assemble as long as you can assemble all of the parts and nothing is stuck the gearbox will work it does not probably does not need to be in a neutral speed or in first speed to be able to assemble it so this gearbox probably can be in any speed and if everything is installed correctly the gearbox will work
So now the thing, uh, things are a little bit trickier. So this pin goes through this hole here, goes through this part, goes to, through this part here and enter and goes between this uh, spring and goes into this hole. So this part, this pin will <coughs> connect all of those parts and also block parts from moving that need uh, that uh, does not need to move. 